What's up guys, it's Blake, and today we are making a video about if Captain America was real. Now, I think that this video is a very creative one, and that's not to say it's very entertaining or funny, but it is creative, you have to give me that. And I already have a lot of behind-the-scenes secrets about this video, even though we've barely started production. And that is that a lot of people don't know this, but the reason why Captain America is not going to be in the future MCU movies, like the reason why he got really old at the ending of Endgame and made it pretty clear he's not coming back, is because, you know, Chris Evans and I are bros. I mean, I stalk him a lot, he doesn't really like me, but we're bro -y enough. And I told Chris Evans about this video, and I told him about the script and how I was going to do it, and he looked at me and said, Blake, don't you dare make this video. And he's such a kidder, like, he, he literally, he's so funny, guys, you have to know him in real life, but, you know, you kind of had to be there. But he made this awesome joke about how if I even think about playing Captain America, I would have ruined it for him and he'll quit. And I refuse to back down because only quitters quit. And he ended up actually giving up the role by getting really old at the ending of the last movie and, and saying that he's not going to be in future Marvel movies. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure it's just like an April Fool's Day prank, even though it's mid-February. And I can't wait to film this video. I'm sure Chris Evans will be very proud of me. So, without further ado, let's get started. What? No! With that, you could buy, like, 40 mansions! And I sound so angry here. No, you can't! And I do not like how I did that. Okay. That was very intense how I said that. Forky. If what you're saying is true, I forget the rest of my line. No! That sounded so bad. You're not dead! That was a growl. Nick Fury's turning into a dog over here. And... You're sure I'm not in the bad place? Am I being tortured? Are you Michael in disguise? The way I said that last part sounded really weird. Yes! Jesus! Religion! Afterlife! Know it! That sounded... very cringy. But you... have been given the ultimate second chance. One of which all humans dream of getting. I forget what else to say. And... You're sure I'm not... I don't know why I'm stroking my beard. I mean, there's barely anything there, but... I don't know why I'm stroking it. So I'm old enough to be your grandpa. Yet I haven't aged a day in my life. I forget what to say next. So for those of you who have seen my previous behind the scenes videos, you know that whenever we have a character speaking off camera or over the phone, we will always record that for the behind the scenes videos and then put that in the main video later on. So we did that for this video on a few different occasions, the first one being during one of the first scenes when Captain America is at the bar trying to meet people, and then towards the ending of that scene, he goes off to talk to somebody, and though you can hear what their conversation is, you cannot see them on camera as they are having the conversation. Another point in the video where we do this is a few scenes later when Captain America is on TikTok watching a Charlie D'Amelio video, and the video that is showing on Captain America's iPad as well as the bar conversation will be shown in the next clip once I'm done talking and I really hope that you all enjoy watching it. Do you like your grandpa? Uh, he's been dead for 15 years. Ah, perfect! Right in the sweet spot! Why did you throw your drink at me? Was it something I said? Hey guys, it's Charlie. Today I'm gonna do the hokey pokey and then whine and scream about how I only get a hundred million dollars from it. Hey guys, it's Charlie. Today we're gonna do the hokey pokey and then whine and, and I said we are gonna do the hokey pokey and I, I'm gonna do it when I am the only one that's doing it. Oh, right. 2021 language. You're not up to date with how stupid I ever, ever, bleh. Yeah, I was at the pub trying to meet people, but I got nowhere. Which is a shame because I found all these tickets to Fred Astaire, Sammy Davis Jr., I forget the other one. Steve, those were all famous dancers from the 40s. They're not around anymore. I don't know why I bent down as I said that. 
That's not a very normal thing for people to do as they talk. And even if they were, nobody goes to dance shows anymore. And I think I said that line in reverse. No dance shows? That was a little too intense. I'm writing this so aggressively. Steve, what are you doing? You cannot see my face right now. Right. A billion dollar corporation is gonna shut down over an angry letter. And I do not like how I did that. Yes, five, having five islands and... I already forgot to say having. Totally. That sounded awful. Way ahead of you. Alright, done. Now I'm gonna put this in the mail so they'll get it in three to five work days. I forgot to take out the envelope. Now to get a stamp for this. I don't know why I said it like that. So I just type all my critical feedback into this box. I'm supposed to say critical feedback in the next line. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say for this one. Okay, I'm sorry, but this one's kind of stupid. This one, I was just supposed to say this sounds, not this one sounds. What a random mistake. What a weird mistake that was. Wow, you're more popular than Frank Sinatra. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I know that I'm supposed to be like a lot in this line, but this is just going way overboard. Oh, God! That was a lot. And everyone hates me for what I said on Twitter. I mean, if people are stupid enough to not approve with every single thing I say, then I respect their opinion. And I said that line too calm. It needs to be more... bitter. Yeah, totally. This generation's the worst. But also, you should probably stop saying the term man up so much. I was not supposed to say the term. I just... I don't know what this was. As much as I'd love to sit here and talk about your feelings, my pizza bagels are ready, so... I'm doing so much with my hands here that I'm not supposed to. Yep, it's pizza on a bagel. It's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Better even. Because why would anybody want pizza on a... I'm, I was about to say on a bagel. And not on sliced bread. They didn't have that in the 40s. Let me try it. That sounded very creepy. Yeah. That was probably a bit too much. That took way too long to cut this pizza bagel in half. I'm literally so weak that I couldn't cut a pizza bagel in half. This is so concerning. You know, Captain, those were actually originally supposed to be for me. I said, actually originally. Why are you still watching? Oh, I get it. Because this is Marvel, you expect a crazy post credit scene. I don't know why I did that wobble. That's right, Captain America. Oh, that's right. You haven't heard. Oh well, yes, I am alive again too. It's a crazy story. And the way I said that made me sound crazy. So some cool behind the scenes stories. I was supposed to shoot the outside scene today, when Captain America's walking outside and, and Nick Fury shows up and he's sort of figuring out that something's not right with the timeline he's in, and the one of the last scenes when Captain America and Nick Fury are, are having their real talk on, on the couch and, and they're talking about how this new generation sucks and Captain America first hears about pizza bagels was originally supposed to be shot outside. But then, as the old saying goes, whenever I go to film something outside, the weather sucks. And today is certainly no different. It is snowing just as I was about to shoot two scenes outside 
the only two scenes I was supposed to shoot outside of the entire video, and this happens. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to move the second outside scene with the Captain America Nick Fury real talk from outside to my couch, and I guess I'll just have to do the scene where Captain America's outside and he's so confused I'll have to shoot that tomorrow, and then do like the bar scene today, or just move my schedule around. So, to give you a little update, it is one day later, and it is still snowing outside, but at this point, this is supposed to be the last day of filming, and this is supposed to be the last day of production on this video other than editing. So, I'm just going to try and make it work. I'm going to have the camera equipment set up in my garage, and I'll just film myself standing outside and doing the lines from there. Obviously, you know, this is... A little inconvenient, it's not exactly where I wanted us to be, but you know what, we'll make it work. The weather is clearly never going to be on our side, as it never is whenever I film a scene outside, and we're just going to try and make it work, and hopefully we succeed. So usually when we play an interesting character on this channel, we always have to have a really low budget and horrible costume, like we always just print out a bunch of pictures, or wear a certain color shirt and it's usually never good it's usually never good but this video is different this video was important i want it to be great and lucky me i had all these captain america props from back in my youth when i used to uh... dress up as superheroes for no reason so i still had these laying around that i'm using for the video along with a blue shirt to go along with it and I have this leather jacket from when I dressed up as John Stamos for Halloween a few years back, uh, covering a black t-shirt, and then I printed out this really cool eye patch last night that you could clearly see the, that it's taped on. So, that's not cool, but other than the tape and the eye patch, this is a really cool costume. And I just think that this shows growth for my channel. You know, a few years back, we would have never, you know, put in the effort to have a really great costume, and now... I'm willing to take the time to tape on an eye patch and not even try to cover up the tape. So, I don't know. The costumes are still pretty horrible, but to a lesser extent. And I guess that's, in some ways, technically, sort of, still a little bit of growth, kinda. So that is a wrap on If Captain America Was Real. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a great time making this video, and... I think that it turned out as good as it possibly could have. I mean, keep in mind, I am still the one making it, so it's definitely not going to be great, but, you know, I certainly think that we've made worse videos. I certainly think that this is not the most horrible thing I'm capable of doing. So, in other words, it's a success, kind of. But, yeah, as much as I enjoyed making this video, I gotta admit, I am kind of relieved the filming process for it is over so I can go back to hiding these props because I probably shouldn't still have this costume at 16 years old, but... Oh well, so thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much, and I will see you all next Friday for a brand new sketch. Bye! Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching this week's new sketch. To see the main video, then watch if Captain America was real, and to see the previous sketch, then watch if people are honest on their honeymoon and the behind the scenes for that relationship suck behind the scenes. All of the links for these videos will be in the description below. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I will see you all next Friday for a brand new sketch. Bye! So now that you've finished watching this video, Avengers assemble to the previous sketch if people were honest on their honeymoon. I don't think I used the term Avengers assemble properly. Again, showcasing why Chris Evans did not want me taking his character. So, I should probably go write him an apology letter. Just check out the previous video. Goodbye.